Hello and welcome! In the previous tutorials we've covered the basic topics that you need to know as a Python beginner and in this one we're going to create a game called Guess the Number. So how does this game work? Well Python is going to generate a random number between let's say 1 and 50 and the user has to guess the number. So how do we generate an, a random number? Well we need to import a random module. So it's called random. This is already installed so you don't have to do anything and this is how you import it to your Python file. So import random and then if you decide to print so from the random module there is a function rand int which stands from random integer then you have to basically specify the range between which you want Python to choose a number. But compared to the previous range functions this one includes both the start and end point. So if we decide to print basically a random number between 1 and 5. The numbers 1 and 5 are also included in this selection. So I'm going to print this, I'm going to print this, let's say twice. So I just will get two completely random numbers between 1 and 5. And if I print this again, I get see 5, 5, so 4, 1, so all the numbers between 1 and 5 are involved. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a variable called secret number and that will be basically from the random module create a random integer between 1 and 50. So we have our number that we, we don't even know what it is and we will allow the user to have let's say 10 chances to guess the word. Then we're going to maybe it's good at the beginning to to greet the user and for example we can say hello and welcome to the game um, then maybe one more line uh, to explain what this game is about so python has generated a number between 1 and 50 can you guess it question mark then what we can do is we're going to use a while loop so we're going to set the game as true and we will see in a minute why this is important so we have the game, it has just started and it's true. So while it is true, while game is true, we would like to get the answer, well, basically the guess from the user. So the user guess is going to be uh, the input to the question, what is your guess? And again, this is going to be string. And if we compare string to basically the integer here will get an error so we have to convert this into a string uh, an integer so we have the input of the user as an integer and then what we're going to do is uh, if elif and else statement so if the user guess is identical to the secret number then we would like to print well done you have guessed the number right and then we would like the game to be false. So the game is over. You don't have to go through this while loop again because, well, it's done. The user has guessed the number. Now, if that's not the case, if the user answer is basically the user guess is greater than the secret number, we would like to print um, your guess is too high. And then we're going to decrease the chances. So the chances, the user had 10 chances, but now we can say chances minus one, or this, as the same way we can do it is chances minus equal one. And this has the same, basically the same outcome. Then we're going to print um, chances left, and then plus string of chances. Now we would like to print this only if there are basically at least, if there's at least one more chance left. So we need to have another if statement here. So if chances are greater than zero, then we would like to print this. And otherwise, if that's not the case, we'll, then we would like to print, sorry, you have no more chances left and then maybe it's good to print the number was plus 
a string of our secret number and then game is equal to false so this is another way to end the game so if the, the user has run out of chances now this was what would have happened if the user's guess was higher than the secret number now what we can also have is I'm going to just have the same code again but if the user guess was lower than the secret number then we would like to print your guess is too low then again we would like to decrease the chances and then if there is a chance left we would like to print notify the user of that otherwise if there are no more chances left we would like to print sorry you have no more chances left the number was and that's it now I think we've covered all everything that could happen now let's have an else statement and this is something that well let's say that this is not expected so this is strange um, it should be investigated so if you get this output check what was the input and why it well why we got that output so I'm going to run this now and let's see what we get so hello and welcome to the game here we might add a dot let's fix that now what is your guess so I'm going to guess 25 your guess is too high you have chances left 9 so what is your guess now well I'm going to say 13 your guess is too low all right 20 your guess is too high 15 too low 18 well done you have guessed the number and then this as you can see the game stops because well we have just set that variable game to be equal to false and this is basically how the whole game works now one more thing that we can add is as you can see once we run the game it prints the three lines at, at the same second at the same moment what we can do is we can import another module called time and what this does is it can pause the script for a few seconds so what we might do is time.sleep and then 2 which means after printing this statement python will stop for 2 seconds then it will continue so i would like to have two seconds between every line and if we print this hello and welcome to the game python has generated a number between 1 and 50 can you guess it now what we can do the last thing that we didn't try is what if we run out of chances so i'm going to start with the number two and i'll just use that one until we run out of chances sorry you have no more chances left the number was 14. again here we can add a, a dot so how do we do that in the else statement when we actually print the number we need to add plus and then a dot and it would be same if the number was higher and now we have the fully working script for a game when where python generates a number and then we the user has to guess it and thank you for following this tutorial i hope things became a bit more clear and that you don't feel like learning Python is a waste of time. As you can see, although you have spent probably around an hour or two watching the previous tutorials, you can still make something out of it. And this is and this is basically what you can use to create a text-based game where you would create the scene and then the user would have to adjust to it or play the game. So that would be all regarding this tutorial. Thank you for following it and I will see you in the next video.